F-111 Aardvark may not be the most notorious aircraft to ever fly in the sky, but the American attack aircraft was pioneering, nonetheless. As the first airplane to incorporate specific design features to make it multi-role capable, the F-111 was a game-changer when it entered service with the U.S. Air Force more than five decades ago. Nicknamed the Aardvark for its long nose and low-level terrain following abilities, the F-111 is considered by some aviation buffs to represent the F-35 of its day. The F-111 Aardvark's Origin Story Back in the early 1960s, the Air Force's need for a fighter-bomber converged with the Navy's need for an air superiority fighter. In May 1960, an American CIA U-2 reconnaissance airframe was shot down over the Soviet Union by a newly developed surface-to-air missile. Following this incident, the U.S. military was committed to producing a fighter-bomber with deep-strike interdiction abilities. Initially, two variants were created for both the Navy and Air Force, however, the Navy program ultimately was nixed but the Air Force forged ahead to develop the F-111. Over the next few years, Manufacturing giant General Dynamics went to work to create the airframe with a variable sweep wing configuration that could be changed mid-flight to modify the aircraft's shape. Essentially, this type of configuration allows the airframe to maneuver at low speeds or supersonic speeds, depending on the mission. The Aardvark featured advanced avionics that enabled it to conduct nighttime and all-weather flights close to the ground. Its radar system could even allow the airframe to fly at altitudes as low as 200 feet off the ground in changing terrain without the need for pilot intervention. Specs and Capabilities Ordnance-wise the Aardvark was armed to the teeth with air-to-surface ordnance for long-range attack. As detailed by Air Force technology, the F-111's internal weapons bay could carry an M61 Vulcan 20mm cannon up until the early 1980s when this capability was removed. The internal bay could carry MK-117 type, 340kg, bombs and up to MK-118, 1400kg, was cleared. The F-111 could carry various free-fall nuclear weapons such as B-43, B-57, and B-61 bombs. The F-111 could not carry any external weapons due to its fuselage design. The F-111C can launch AGM-142 Popeye standoff missile, AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile, and AGM-88 Harm anti-radiation missile. An overview of the F-111's combat history. While the F-111 appeared to be in solid shape leading up to the peak of the Vietnam War, the airframe's combat deployment was shaky at first. Within two months of entering the war, three F-111s were lost. Engineers discovered that a hydraulic control valve rod for the horizontal stabilizer was to blame and upon close inspection realized that 42 other airframes possessed the same issue. When the Aardvarks re-entered service a few years later, they made quite the comeback during the Operation El Dorado Canyon airstrikes in Syria. In fact, the F-111 made the longest fighter combat mission in history when it flew nearly 6,400 miles over 13 hours from Royal Air Force Lakenheath and Royal Air Force Upper Hayford in the UK to Libya. Although the F-111s have largely been relegated to museum duty, aviation buffs continue to praise the honorable history of the pioneering airframe today. <laughs>